Today we're going to open a TechnoKids PDF worksheet assigned by your teacher in Google Classroom. We are going to answer the questions in the worksheet using the Zoto PDF Chrome extension. So sign into Google Classroom by going to classroom.google.com or sign into Google and click the Google Apps button and choose Classroom from the list. If you don't see it, click More and it will be further down the page. We are going to go into our class and we are going to open our assignment. Our teacher has asked us to use Zoto or Kami to answer the questions. This is the work we are going to open. We are going to click More Actions and choose Open in New Window. We're going to click the Open With menu and choose Zoto from the list. You may be prompted to give Zoto permission to read and write back to your Google Drive account. You need to just follow the on-screen prompts and click Allow. When you're done, the document will open up in Zoto we can change the magnification of the screen so we can see it a little better. So we're going to read the instructions and see what we're supposed to do. Further down the page we're asked a question and we need to answer that using text. So we're going to use the free text tool. Click the tool, you can click the arrow, choose a color, choose a text size, a thickness, and transparency. I'm going to leave mine as the color red. I'm going to click and drag on the page where I want to add my text box and then just type to put in my text. Now you've noticed that I now have a scroll bar here. I don't necessarily want that to look like that. So click the select tool, click on your box, and just drag to resize it. You can also reposition your text box this way. In the next question, we need to circle an answer or check, make a check mark. We can do that using the free hand tools. So click the arrow, pick a color, pick a size. I'm going to use green and I'm going to be a little bit thicker and then you just click and drag to add to the page. When you're done your document using Zoto, you need to click this save arrow and choose Google Drive. This just makes sure that the changes are written back to your original file. You can then close the tab and return to your assignment and click turn in. Confirm the submission and click Turn In.